that's our switch. It's actually kind of cool to be able to see the inside. Okay, so we got a, a fairly new, like less than a year old, Oxbox furnace. The condenser is just about in this wall outside. It was turning on and off and on and off on the customer. Turned it off, turned it back on, it kicked right on, and then it shut off. Then I went to shut it off here, and sparks shot out from these two uh, holes right here. You take a look at it, I mean, it's bad connection, just must have burnt and burnt and burnt through. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's not. Let me grab some needle nose and show you. Here is some of the switch. I mean, that's nuts. Never seen that before. And here is our incoming power. Here's our power going into the furnace. Let's see. Let's cut that. Okay. Move that out of the way. Cut this ground and this ground. And that's our switch. It's actually kind of cool to be able to see the inside. But I'm gonna have to deal with all this now. We're not using this red wire. I didn't even notice a red wire came in here. Yeah, right there. And let's see. There's no Romex connector there. So we'll put a Romex connector there. Get him a new switch. And then we should be good to go. Okay, so I got my new switch right here have to cut off these little tabs on the end And I'll wire power on one side, power into the other. Okay, so I had to strip, cut back all that damaged wiring. So I don't have too much left here to work with. Um, and let's see, I'm going to cut this red to get it out of the way. We don't need that there for any reason. Just a little bit more room to work with. For our grounds and our neutrals, we will be using some Wago lever connectors. And our ground is going to have a three wire, our neutral is going to have a two wire. And I'll strip those back and connect. Okay, so here's what I got for that wiring. Uh, three wire on the ground, because I'm gonna run a ground to the switch itself. And two wire for my two um, neutrals. And then this is the power coming in, the line, the load, which will be broken by the switch. So I'll uh, strip these with a little hook and Run them to these screws, make them nice and tight, and I'll electric tape them, and also reconnect the ground up to this ground terminal, and wago that in with the other grounds. 
Okay, so here I've got my three grounds. One of them comes up to this screw right here, the grounding screw. And then I hooked my blacks and screwed those down nice and tight, making sure the hook is in the direction that you're tightening. And also making note that this is in the up position when it's on. Now I'll tape this up with electric tape. And get the cover back on it after I remove this broken switch. Okay, so I got that all taped up with a few layers. And uh, I'll get this all reconnected. Okay, and then now that switch is in. I wish I had a protector for this, but I don't. Actually, I might have something from yesterday. Yeah, this is better than nothing. I'll pop this on there. Okay, so we got a rubber grommet here to at least protect that wire. Comes in and out on both sides. And just because I hate wire nuts, I cut out all the wire nuts and put in Wagos and just kind of secured this better so it's not risking touching or rubbing up on anything. And we'll turn power off. Gonna go over to the breaker. Turn our condenser power back on, which that didn't need to be turned off, but. Now let's see. Red and green lights came on. Blower is coming on. And we'll make sure it continues to run, but we should be good to go. Okay, so that was an easy repair. Now I'm going go to past a this light. customer. Then at the next one, turn left. We just did an AC maintenance on all the systems and we replaced uh, quite a few components. I'm going to replace a condenser fan motor. We only had two, uh, we only had one at the time of us being there. They needed two, so we ordered one. Now I'm going to replace that one and hopefully that goes smoothly. And here are the systems. Should we move this out of the sun? It overheats. And here's the bad one. Disconnects it out. Take off our side panel. The size I didn't have ready. Got one screw and two. Put that right here. Got these four. our condenser fan, got our black common, and fan wire for the cap. And it's actually pretty tight. Let's see. So I got it out. Now the last one 
came off super easy. So I'm hoping that this one comes off easy too. Oh yeah, that's gonna come off nice and easy. See if I could do this one-handed by balancing the phone on my leg. Or two-handed, I mean. Yep, came off that easy. I'll set that aside. And, oh, you could hear all that slack in there moves around quite a bit. And I'll get this one ready. Basically just do the exact same thing in reverse now. Okay, so I got that all together and got the grinder. I know people use the chef blaster. I think that thing is stupid. It takes five seconds just to take it with the grinder like this. And if I wanted to, I could clean that off too. See right there. And it's nice and smooth, so. I'll heat up this wiring and get it all wired in. Let's see, I need two spade connectors as well connected to the contactor, so I'm gonna get those. Okay, so got it all in place, tucked these up and hid them and ran the ground to here and zip tied that cable hiding them. Now for capacitor, same size capacitor, so we can reuse this one which I tested it's good. And Put our brown to thin. Put our other brown to the common side of the capacitor. And let's see where our common side connects. Okay, so common side is gonna also get the white. And the other side will get our other leg of 120. I believe that's correct. Got 120, 120, and then our capacitor leads right there. And if I'm right, it should turn on and it should amp out okay. So I'll get my meter out and also put some things away. Set this to amperage. Clamp it around right there. Let's see. Hold it with my legs while I plug in the disconnect. And point nine. Okay, so I don't know what happened with my phone. Sometimes when I record, it 
goes to record and it says it's recording, but nothing happens. So that went smoothly and I forgot to record an outro, but hopefully you enjoyed watching. Like the video if you liked it, comment any advice or criticisms or feedback, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.